In this tutorial I will explain how one can edit the force through scenarios. I'll be covering how to port the scenario to another terrain, how to use different factions, how to allow the spawning of vehicles and how to change various settings. To start we have to download the editable version of the scenario. Download the force through scenario archive. Open your editor missions folder and extract the Altus version into it. Now we can open it in the editor. Let's say we want to port this to Takistan and play as the Takistani army against the US Marines. We'll start by porting the mission to Takistan. Open up the map and zoom way out so you can see the entire map. Press Ctrl A and Ctrl C to copy all the stuff placed on the map. Open up the Takistan terrain. Press Ctrl V. Now let's make sure all the units are placed safely, meaning not floating in the air or inside rocks, buildings and similar. Check the supply crates as well. Note the triggers called JIP Spawn Fixer. If you need to adjust the position of soldiers on the player's side, make sure to place them inside these triggers. We also copied over some air support units here. If you don't want them in your mission, you could just delete them. Let's put them in an airfield though. Save the scenario. Go back to the missions folder. Copy all the files except for mission.sqm from the Altus mission folder into your own. Reload the mission. Let's set the name for the scenario, change the independence allegiance and try to run it. Everything works. So, basically this is how to port the scenario to a different terrain. Next let's see how to change the factions. Let's start with the enemy team. Delete the old groups and place new ones. Select every soldier and sync them to the nearby spawn AI module. Select one soldier from each group and sync them to the game logic entity named Placer Team 2 Start. Let's do the player side now. Replace the groups. Remember to place them inside the JIP spawn fixer triggers. Sync every soldier to the nearby spawn AI module. Select one unit from each group and sync them to the nearby entity named Placer Team 1 Start. Set some units as playable and one as the player. When replacing trucks at the airfield, you must copy over the code in the initialization field of the groups the trucks belong to. Remove the pilots from the aircraft and sync the aircraft to the respawn modules under them. Next we need to make the spawn AI modules spawn soldiers from the correct faction. This is trickier and I've made a separate video that explains how to do this. You can find the link in the video description. That tutorial will instruct you to create some logic entities and triggers but if you're basing your scenario on the Altus version like we're doing here, those things are already created. So you should only be concerned with setting the faction variables on the spawners, modifying the spawner adapter code and blacklisting the groups you don't need. Again, all of this is explained in detail in another video.
Let's change the marker colors to better reflect the sides that are fighting. We could also change the flag at the supply crates. Do this through this menu instead of deleting the flag and placing a new one. Change the color name in the game mode's description here. So that's how you change factions. Next let's enable the spawning of vehicles. This is done by changing the group type weights in the spawn AI modules. One of the features in these missions is the spawning of camps. As we can see, currently it spawns green 4 units which might not be what we want. We can fix this by modifying the placer camp entity. You can change the value in the brackets here into op4 or bluefer. If you don't want to spawn camps at all, you can just delete these two entities. To change the number of troops at the battle, find the custom AI spawner module control entity, find a variable named units per spawner and change its value. To change the default values for the settings in the advanced config window, change the numbers in the patrol center entity. You must not change the patrol radius variable though. To change the default size of the battle area, open the pre-mission start logic entity and look for this line. For example, if you change the 0 to minus 0 0.4, this will decrease the radius of the battle area by 40%. Note that this also affects the settings here. The multiplayer settings are set in the description.ext file. You may edit them here, or if you want to use the in-game configuration window, you should delete these lines first. This concludes the tutorial. If you have other questions, ask and I might answer. Thank you for watching and good luck with your creations.